Released in April of 1957 on a budget of only $350,000, this iconic courtroom drama shares the story of 12 jurors who must deliberate the verdict of a young man accused of murder. Hollywood icon Cindy Lamette directed this now-famous 96-minute movie that stars Henry Fonda, Lee Cobb, Jack Klugman, Ed Begley, and many other titans from cinema's golden age. Unfolding in real time, Fonda is the lone dissenter in an 11-to-1 vote in favor of a guilty verdict. And slowly but surely, the 12 jurors re-examine the evidence in an attempt to find enough reasonable doubt to rule for an acquittal. Now, are you trying to tell me that this knife really fell through a hole in the boy's pocket, someone picked it up off the street, went to the boy's house, and stabbed his father with it just to test its sharpness? No, I'm just saying it's possible the boy lost his knife and that somebody else stabbed his father with a similar knife. It's just possible. Take a look at this knife. It's a very unusual knife. I've never seen one like it. Neither had the storekeeper who sold it to the boy. Aren't you asking us to accept a pretty incredible coincidence? I'm just saying a coincidence is possible. And I say it's not possible. Where did that come from? It's the same knife. If that basic story sounds familiar, it's for good reason. Dozens of films, TV shows, and plays have since adapted the story. Everything from an early episode of The Simpsons to a recent Russian remake that was released in 2007. With such a minimalist approach and rarely any substantial twists or surprises, the entirety of 12 Angry Men depends solely on the writing and its execution from the all-star cast. Luckily for history, both are astonishingly impressive home runs. The dialogue is quick, engaging, thought-provoking, and incredibly entertaining. While the acting is nothing short of remarkable, every actor is given the chance to truly shine in the drab 16 by 24 foot jury room. The single issue I have with this black and white masterpiece is unfortunately the premise itself. Twelve jurors take it upon themselves to conduct their own independent investigation, complete with dozens of wild assumptions and guesswork that realistically has no place in any legal setting. Conveniently though, the rest of the movie's accomplishments make this one plot hole an easy one to overlook. Opening with a minutes long shot that floats around the room from one conversation to another, the pace of the editing here speeds up only when the action between the characters dictates. Similarly, the focal distance is brilliantly and slowly shortened as the film goes on, starting off with wide shots of the entire room, and finishing the movie with complete sequences filmed only with extreme close-ups. This insular and tunneling approach by Lamette expertly narrows the movie's focus, making the emotional climax that much more inspiring and rewarding. A true testament to the very basic fundamentals of filmmaking, 12 Angry Men delivers just as effectively today as it did nearly 50 years ago in the original Emmy Award-winning teleplay from 1954. At 89 years old, juror number 5, played by Jack Klugman, perhaps best known for his role in The Odd Couple, is unfortunately the lone surviving member of the cast. But he was surprisingly slated to return to a New Jersey stage production of 12 Angry Men just this week. But sadly, he had to withdraw earlier this month for health reasons. This is a wonderfully beautiful film that everyone owes it to themselves to watch at least once. Which is why it's no surprise it's held a top 10 slot on IMDb's coveted most popular list for years. What is a surprise, however, is the lack of success the movie originally had when it came out in 1957, failing to win any of the Academy Awards it was nominated for. 12 Angry Men. Dozens of reasons to love. Well, that's my review. Now let's check out some of yours from the YouTube comments. Slightly redesigned from last week, here's the Rate-O-Matic with our scores for 12 Angry Men. A 9 and a 10. Overwhelmingly you love this film, with praise for the writing and acting being nearly unanimous. You scored it an amazing. Excelling in nearly every category, it was only the slightly unbelievable premise I had issue with. But this film gets a very strong awesome from me, an all-time classic for sure. 